One more example, and this involves conversion to caseware working papers from another product. So caseware does have the ability under file import to convert from other working paper software. And we have a significant list here, and for those of you who are uh, around my age, you might recognize some of these older packages. A lot of them have been purchased and discontinued by uh, some of the other competitors out there. The example I'm going to show you today is a ProSystem FX engagement import. Now, there's a couple steps that are required to get to this point, and we do have documentation on that for anyone who needs to be able to convert ProSystem FX engagement files to caseware working papers. So what I have done is I have extracted it from the ProFX um, database to put it local. I've turned off the SQL uh, engine for ProSystem FX engagement and I have a SQL engine running uh, SQL Express so that I have the ability to convert that SQL file into caseware working papers file. When I extracted it from engagement, I had to also place it in a certain folder structure. Now all this is explained in our documentation, and all the way down to the file ID and the user ID folder. Now this is going to import the client information for me. I'm going to bring any adjustments and tax entries. If there's general ledger detail in there, I'll bring that in as well. And I want to import the client document. So if you are doing a conversion, you can maintain those documents. You can get the file in the same state as it was in the prior uh, software package in the prior year. Then just roll it forward, and you're ready to go in the working papers application. Now, normally you'd have to put server, user ID, and passwords in here. I don't have that set up, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to click OK. Here it reaches out to that particular file, you notice it's connecting to the SQL instance and it's processing the database. And it does say not responding, but it is continuing to process in the background. So I just had a little patience there. And here we can see that it's continuing through. Now, there are groupings in working papers and there are groupings in competing packages. And we want to make sure that they align for us. So I can see that the lead sheet here was in group two in that package. I want to put it into group one in case where working papers, and I'm going to say that that's not applicable. The other groupings, we can import if we want. We don't have to. We can set it to not applicable if we like. In Canada, the tax code get a, a brought across for the Giphy. In the U.S., the tax codes automatically come across. We don't have to worry about that at all. So I'm going to click OK here, and it's going to complete that conversion for me. Now keep an eye at the bottom of the document manager on the left-hand side as we're converting because it just added all of the documents as well from that engagement software. So if I open up the folder here, you can see all the Word, Excel, PDF, whatever was added in that engagement file has been brought across to Caseware Working Papers. Now the trial balance is in here, and if I go into the trial balance, we can see once again we've got that information available to us. We've got a ratio class here, so if I take it that one step further, tools, options, and autofill on my mapping, auto map now, brings in my mapping. Let's just for a second assume that all my mapping is set up properly. I'm not going to worry about confirming it. And that takes it out to all the documents in the document manager for me. Now, I kind of wish I hadn't done that at this point because I was going to show you how to run the conversion on the financial statements, but because I changed the map number there, it also updated the lead sheet code. So what I'm going to do is run through that conversion one more time very quickly. So go import and working paper software, click OK. That should bring back the lead sheets that I was looking for. And so now I have the lead sheets here that are linked to the Excel and Word documents that were set up as financial statements previously. And part of the conversion is making sure that these items are updated to reflect the groupings that you have. So anyone who's worked with this particular software in the past might be familiar with the financial statements that you're seeing right here. It's not linking right now because it can't find the software, but what I have is the Casework Connector add-on. And what th this add-on is going to do is it's going to convert my third-party formulas from ProSystem FX into Caseware Working Paper formulas. And I'm going to replace them all. This does take a moment to run through the entire file, and uh, unfortunately, 
I have three files open in the background that I wasn't closing, so it wasn't entirely sure which one to go with. I'm just going to close the other two. And I should have actually paid more attention when I was doing this. So what it would do is it would cycle through all of these fields and update them with the appropriate information. Now I'm not going to take the time. I'm going to kill this process now. My apologies. I should have only had the one file open when I did this particular conversion, but that would update all the links to ensure that these documents are now linking back to your own financial statement uh, information from the case where we're working papers file. 